Bernardo needs to slide in behind that jab. Just got hit with a straight left right there from Morales. Over at RGVA with Robert Garcia, his trainer, because it's hard to get heavyweights in there, but he trains alongside the, the lightweights. The... I want to be a slow, lumbering heavyweight. I want to have some pep in my step and show people that I can box. And he's nice double left hand, and you see the legs of Brandon Hughes start to shake here. But all that was set up from that jab, Bernardo. Those, the nice jab from Morales. He was reeling. And then did you see the head movement afterwards from Morales? That's what he's getting inside the gym. Those lighter weights moving his head from the out on the outside. Ooh, nice left hand right down the middle. As Morales is coming straight down the pipe with the straight left hand right there. Now we see it there as Nostra right, Wardmas calls it. Break. It's not hard to see what the openings are being set up for Morales. He said, man, I used to have a nice, pretty nose. I used to get a lot of compliments on it. Now it's been broken, and he's broken the spirit of Brandon Hughes, who goes down. Simple fundamentals. Here we say Morella is just looking. He led with that straight left right there, missed it. But that's not what he really wanted. He wanted to come behind the right and get another left right on the chin right Five seconds, had plenty of time to recover, did Hughes. And here comes Morella looking to set up that left hand once again. And Hughes does well to tie him up, but Morella gets loose. And he's trying to let loose here at the end of round one. Another left hand and take a seat, Brandon Hughes. Three, four, five. Hughes down. These guys are heavyweights, man. So when you land a clean shot like Morellis did right there, it's hard for another big man to stand up. That's a lot of power and a lot of force coming behind that big body and that long reach. Now, this is where not having boxing experience hurts Hughes because he's going to fight harder. He doesn't know how to survive, so he's going to be right there to be knocked out probably in this round because it's back and then start to go back to box and he's just going to stand there and ultimately get caught and you see the experience here tim of morellis who had 32 amateur fights versus zero for Hughes. yeah exactly but the one thing that i do like about you lunges forward he does tie him up there it is right there he get a 15 yard penalty for holding in football on his feet against the hard punching morellis who had never been out of the first round in his first two professional fights Ooh, you see a nice he left hand. Tough, though. He's tough. Might not have the knowledge, but he's tough. But he's and he's out. And he's down as the referee yelled, stop. Stay down right here. Stay down it's right too here. late. Words Stay weren't enough. And Morales, Tim, he put him down. Okay. Oh, my goodness. He called by the ref. Well, the end was inevitable. All Morales had to do was not get caught and keep doing what he was doing, which is come behind the right hand and the left hand like you see right there. Hughes is tough, like we mentioned, but toughness can get you knocked out. He didn't know how to get out of the way or get away from the long reach of Morales. And I love this. He's a young fighter, but didn't panic when he had his opponent hurt. That's veteran type stuff. And that was my big takeaway. The knockout was great, but the poise was great as well. Agreed. Looking at that sequence right there, you know, look at the distance that Morales is keeping between him and Hughes. Very important. Yeah. How do I know I'm still strong? I was sparring the fast, quick heavyweight Andrew Ruiz, a former champion, and the hard-punching Filip Ergovic. He says, and I learned that I still got some pop and I can hold my own against high guys at their elite level. He's actually not intimidated by much because he works security in his hometown. Morales is a little slow with his hands. Oh, nice. Straight left from Antonio Mireles. He's, he was telling us in the fighter meetings, you know. So you see Morales right now having some success, but he's also being touched from Reyes. Nice. Long left from Mireles. Nice body shot from Mireles here to end round one of a scheduled four rounder. And we're going to listen in to. Uh, aforementioned Robert Garcia Jr. All he needed was the love of the sport to be able to take the baton and run with it, and you see him doing that right now. It's a battle of distance here. Who's going to control the range? Yes. We don't know what's going to happen in this fight, but what I like from Reyes so far is he's not allowing the height and the reach of Morellas to intimidate him. You see him working through it. You see him have success at times. He gets hit at times like you just saw. The body shot from Morales right there. That's, it's not easy for a tall man with long arms to get that kind of short shot down low like he did. That guy started to roll around on the canvas and they disqualified. He showed me That's the video, so it really happened. <laughs> as long as a jab and that long left are active, Mireles 
is going to keep Reyes at bay. Now he's smothering his work a little bit, looking to dig to the body, and he lands a nice left. And down goes Reyes on the seat of his pants. But he kept chopping down that smaller tree, and then all of a sudden, you get the right shot through. Combination right here, not everything land, but that shot right there did. That right left hook to the body, and then shots that followed back up to the head. Bad spot for Reyes to be in, he can't get away, and Morales took full advantage. Boom! That shot right there, you couldn't really see it, but Reyes felt it, and the shots to the head. 50 seconds left here in round number two. Ileles needs to stay calm, Dre, and try to finish this fight. Nice right hand, and down goes Reyes for the second time. And referee of this fight, Tyrone Roberts, says, I've seen enough. And he was hurt just enough, and Reyes didn't really make an effort to get back up. And the second knockdown, Reyes had already checked out, and it didn't take much for Morales to shoot that looping right hook to the ear. Just a short shot. Boom. Boom. Those two shots right there don't seem like much, but trust me, Reyes felt it. His body language told the whole story. The referee read that just right. The rest is history. Oh, nice jab from Mireles. Morales looking for that one, two. Bring him out. Bring him out. Patience from Julio Carter. Not falling in. Oh, nice left hand there from Mireles now. Lips Carter, but he's coming back with something of his own. Morales is chin. He drops his hands. He steps in. He can't fight going backwards. We see what we need to do. So far, Khalil was able to do it here in round one. And that I can still hurt you and potentially get you out of there because if he allows Morales to get back in this fight. Nice uppercut from Khalil Carter who is balanced. And he's looking for his shots, and downstairs is what's working for him right now. Shaking off the cobwebs from being knocked down and getting right back into the fight. I don't think he's fighting the right type of fight, but he's fighting. And that knockdown did not turn him away. Right, but that was the missing link for Morales is the defensive part. Get your shots off. Use that big height and that big reach. Just take a half step back. The shorter arm man, he's going to miss you. Right clean. Step back. Mm. Step back. Mireles finding a home for both shots now as that long left is making Khalil Carter take a step back. Oh! Mireles catches up and this fight is done! He just turned him away with a huge shot. You can't get hit that many times. That flush against a guy like this. Being the bigger man, he will push Carter back. Carter's relaxed for some reason. I don't know. It's a real fight, a live fight going on. And then you just see... Morella just keep pouring it on, and it's the type of shot, that one right there, the right hook, followed up with another straight left and another straight left, and the turnaround from Carter is all that a referee needs to see to know that he's not in his right mind and that he probably needs to stop this fight. That's a swivel jab right there. That's, that's a swivel jab right there. Most fighters are not expecting that shot. Beautiful shot, beautiful stoppage with no argument whatsoever. Zerto did 12 against <laughs> Terrible game plan, I thought. Absolutely. Try to outbox the boxer, but Morella's here putting hands on Perry early on, but Perry's trying to get inside and cut that gap down and land that overhand right. You know that in his pro debut, he, he was outweighed by a 351 pounder. And right now he's getting pounded by Morellis. Just the speed and the punch output is. and down goes Perry. Face first. It's done. Nine, ten. Uh, absolutely not enough time for Eric Perry to get back up. Here's the end of the fight right now. Morales is just overwhelming Perry. That's he just letting his hands go. He hit him with one shot. Followed up with combinations. That was the end. I mean, I love the acting at the end, the flop at the end. I thought that was pretty good. I mean, look at his eyes. His eyes look fine right here. I get it. I'm not in his body, but I love the acting right there.